class, today we're going to learn about measurement. Now, we can measure anything using any object, as long as we specify what unit we're using. Today, we're going to measure some things around the classroom using our snap cubes. How many snap cubes are in one set? Ten. Ten. Good job. All right. So, when we measure, we want to make sure that we line up the snap cubes nice and tight so that there's no spaces in between them. Because if there's spaces, we're not getting an accurate measurement. I'm going to demonstrate, we're going to measure my water bottle with our snap cube. So, Laura, how many snap cubes do you think this water bottle is? Seven. Seven. All right, let's see. Can you hold my water bottle? Sure. All right. One, two, three, four, five, oh, uh oh, five. Six, seven. Are we? Do we get to the top yet? No. All right. So let's add another one. We have Dang it. Eight. eight. So our water bottle is eight snap cubes tall. So we measured them up nice end to end. Now you're going to get a chance to measure some of the things around our classroom. So we have a pair of scissors to measure. We have a glue stick. A note card and your desk. So before we start measuring, we're going to estimate how long you think these objects are. So Laura, how long do you think your desk is? 35 cubes. 35 cubes. So let's write it on our chart. This is our estimate. All right, how about your glue stick? How long do you think your glue stick is? Four. Four cubes. All right, how about your scissors? Eleven. Eleven. Now, what's our unit? What are we measuring these in? Snap cubes. Snap cubes. Good. And how long do you think your note card is? Five. Five cubes. Now, this isn't the real measurement. This is just a guess. And we're going to use our snap cubes to see how close we are. All right. So, Laura, how about you measure your desk with your snap cubes? Okay. How many snap cubes do you have up there? 32. 32. <laughs> and they're lined up end to end, right? Right. Right. Good job. Okay, so let's write that in our chart. We have 32 snap cubes. Were we close to our estimate? What was our estimate? 35. And what did we actually get? 32. So how many cubes difference was there between our estimate and our actual? Three snap cubes. Three cubes. Good job. Okay, so how about you measure your glue stick now? One, two, three, four. Five. Five. All right, let's write that in our chart. You're pretty good at guessing and estimating, Laura. Thank you, right? What was our estimate? Four. And no, no actual. Five. So how many, what's the difference between our actual and our estimate? One. One. Good job. All right. How about the scissors? Um, oh. Yes. Hold on. Eleven. Eleven snap cubes. And what did you estimate as our scissors, Laura? Eleven. And what was our actual? Eleven. So you guessed, you estimated the right amount. Good job. <laughs> All right, now let's do our last one. Let's do our note card. Which way? How many cubes do we have? Seven. Seven snap cubes. Good job. So what was our estimate? Five. And what was our actual? Seven. So what was the difference between these two? Two cubes. Good job. All right. So now that we have our data, we're going to compare the lengths of all of our objects, and we're going to put them in order from smallest to greatest. 
Okay, so which object was the smallest? Now remember, we're using our actual totals, not the estimate. So which one was the smallest? The glue stick. And how long was the glue stick? Five cubes. Five cubes, good. So we're going to put a number one by the glue stick. Now which one was the next smallest? Which one was bigger than the glue stick? A note card. Note card. How much bigger was the note card than the glue stick? Two cubes. Good job. So we're going to put a two next to the note card. Which one was the next object that we had? Scissors. Scissors. And that was 11 cubes. So how much bigger was were the scissors than the note card? Four. Four. Good. And how about the desk? The desk was our biggest object, right? Yes. How much bigger was the desk than our glue stick? 27. 27. Good. All right. So now that we have these, we're going to try and figure out another way to represent these numbers using our base 10 blocks. Yay. Yay. Okay, so to represent the number 32, what do you, what can you use to represent 32? 32. Show me. Put them in my hands. One here. So how many is this? Two. 10. 20. 20. 30. 30. How many more do you need? Two. Two. This is not Spanish class. It is math. 31. One. 32. Two. Good job. So now, how about we represent our glue stick? So five cubes. Do we need 32? No. We took away how many? 30. And added? Three. Five cubes in my hand. <laughs> Good job, Laura. All right, now for homework, I want you to take some of these snap cubes home, and you have to find five objects in your house, and you have to measure them with your snap cubes, okay? You're going to do the same thing that we did here. You're going to estimate how long they were, and then you're going to see the actual total, the actual length. And then you're going to put them in order from smallest to biggest, all right?